talk a little bit more about uh, the labors of Christians in the world. I want to share with you right now the book of Matthew. If you have your Bibles, get your Bibles now. Um, we, got, we, can't end, we can't end this without a word from God. So we're going to go to Matthew, the 25th chapter. Matthew, the 25th chapter. I only have a few minutes left, so I want to leave you with a powerful message that's going to bless you for the rest of the week. And it's going to speak to those who do the work of God. Uh, Matthew, the 25th chapter, the 31st verse. And God's word so read. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall be separate, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, and but the goats shall be on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee hungry, and when fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When shall we thee saw thee as a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it for one of these, the least of my brethren, ye have done it unto me. There shall be a separation. There shall be those on the right hand and there shall be those on the left hand. When God calls you, my brothers and sisters, he calls each and every one of us to lift one another up, not to put one another down. When you do the work of God, when you lift up your brothers and your sisters, God will bless you. He will not only bless you now, he will bless you for eternity. Each and every one of us are called to do his work. Lift someone up today. Say something nice to someone. Quit walking around with a stiff neck like you got an attitude and realize that if you are walking around today, if you are in the sound of my voice, you are blessed and highly favored. God is going to continue to bless you as long as you continue to bless God. As long as you continue to lean not to your own understanding, but to the understanding of his word. Continue to study, to show yourself approved unto God, a workman which need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word. God is going to bless you. And I'm going to talk a lot more about that this month and next month. I'm going to talk about gifts. God gives each of us special gifts that we can use for blessing God and we can use for blessing the world. And we're going to speak to that next week. Also, this is a great commission and I really want to talk about this going forward. I want to talk about those who are working to lift up their brothers and sisters. For that is what Christians are called to do. That is what ministries are called to do. To lift one another up. The mayor has a commission here in Atlanta, and it's called the Interfaith Commission. Each month, I'm going to dedicate one program that we will talk to some of the interfaith community who is doing something, who is doing something to lift up the people of God, who is doing something to help the homeless in this city. Right in the city of Atlanta and Georgia alone, we have over 20,000 homeless people. Someone needs to help them. We can't rely on the principalities of the world all the time. We need to rely on the people of God. We need to rely on you and me to do what we are called to do, and that's to lift our brothers and sisters. I'm so glad you were able to join us this morning. I want to make sure that you come back next Tuesday. I'm going to have a powerful word from you, and I'm going to speak about gifts. Each of us has a powerful gift. I want to end today, before I end, I want to go into, uh, read one of my poems, as I always do, 
And after that, we're going to have some prayer. And uh, we're going to call on you to continue to support this powerful ministry as we go forth. This poem is called, I Called on You. I called on you, and you did not answer. I called on you, though you acted as a horse dancer. I called on you, but you did not hear. I called on you, but I, you did not fear. I called on you while you worshipped false masters. I called on you both before and after. You knew of my powers and you knew of my name. You knew of my son. Who else could I blame? You've seen my powers and love and action. You knew the wages of sin, yet it was still your attraction. I called on you and spoke your name. Giving you my blessings, I saved you from the flames. I gave my only son that you would not suffer. I gave you all my love as could no other. I called on you. Now it's your turn. God is calling on us. And one day we shall all call on God. Don't wait till it's too late. For the work needs to be done while there's still light. I want you to pray with me this morning. We have prayer requests this morning. One prayer request for authoring. A prayer request for my friend Frank uh, Jacob who is away traveling in Memphis. And all of you who need prayer this morning, I want you to pray with me right now. Heavenly Father, so much going on in the world today. Someone within the sound of my voice needs a powerful touching of you this morning. Someone this morning needs a powerful blessing this morning, Father. And we ask that you touch right now in the powerful name of Jesus. Someone is in the hospital right now, Father, and looking to be healed. You said where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am also. So we know you're here with us right now, and we want you to touch we want you to heal. We want you to touch and free right now. Someone's going through something at their job. Someone's going through something in their marriage. Someone's going through something without a job. Someone's homeless today. Father, we ask that you touch right now. We ask that you're free right now in the powerful name of Jesus. Help us to be a little bit more loving, a little bit more caring, a little bit more giving. And you said it in your word that you would bless us. You said that you'd pour us out a blessing that we would not have room enough to receive and that you would rebuke the devourer for your name's sake. And all men and all women would call us blessed. We're calling on you right now in the powerful name of Jesus to touch, to heal, to deliver right now in his name, in his powerful name and for his sake. We ask these and all of these things. And together, we as a family of God claimed it with amen. Amen and amen. And then we claim the victory. That's all we have time for right now. But I want you to know that we love you. And more importantly, God loves you. Remember that. And if you have been blessed this morning with this program and this, this ministry, we're asking that you write us with your prayer requests and your love offerings to help sponsor this ministry as we go forth. This is a powerful commission. This is something that we are all called to do. We need you today. And remember, 